Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're ready to solve real inequality, something that looks like an equation but with an inequality symbol. And notice we have the rules on the board that look very much like the rules for solving linear equations, but you'll see some subtle differences and one special rule, rule number two. But starting out, again, just like with equations, we want to eliminate fractions, decimals, and parentheses using the same techniques as we do for equations. But if we multiply or divide by a negative number, we must flip the inequality symbol. Notice on step number three, we want to isolate all the terms that contain x, which typically means that we'll want to move all the terms to an x to one side and everything else to the other side. But sometimes we have more than one inequality symbol in an inequality. And so therefore, we don't necessarily say moving them all to the left, because you'll see that in some cases we do things a little bit differently. And that's why it's a little bit more general of a rule. Also, we want to combine like terms. And then finally, we want to divide by the numerical coefficient of x. And again, note rule number two above, that if we multiply by a negative number or divide by a negative number, we must change the inequality symbol, flip it over. And so we may have to do that multiple times during the same exercise. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We have a fraction, so rule number one says eliminate the fraction. So we're going to multiply both sides of the inequality by the, num the negative three. Of course, since it's a negative number, we'll have to flip the inequality sign. And so what I'd like to do is rewrite that as four x divided by negative three, 2x minus 1. Let's put some parentheses around it. But now, since I'm going to multiply by a negative 3 on the left to get rid of the negative 3 in the denominator, I must do the same on the right. But then, of course, I have to flip the inequality symbol around. So to be technically correct, correct once I multiply both sides by a negative number, I must then at the same time also flip the inequality sign or if I divide by this by a negative number, same thing. So now I can go ahead and continue with the problem. The negative threes cancel out, so I end up with a four X. It's less than, when I multiply negative three times, a, by, times the two X, I get negative six X, and a negative three times a negative one gives me a plus three. Now I need to move all the terms with the X to one side. In this case, step number three, isolate terms containing the X. So I'm going to move this over here, end up with 4x plus 6x. So just like with equations, when you cross the inequality sign, just like when you cross the equal sign, you must change the sign. So 4x smaller than negative 6x plus 3, you move the negative 6 over, it becomes a plus 6x smaller than 3. Combine like terms, step number 4, that's 10x less than 3, and now we divide both sides of the inequality by the coefficient, the numerical coefficient of x. Since it's a positive 10, we don't have to flip the inequality sign again. So that could happen here again as well, I should say. And so x is therefore smaller than 3 tenths. And that would then be the solution. If you want to see that in a graphical format, you draw a number line. Here you have the number 0, the number 1, the number 2, the number 3, and so forth, which means 3 tenths falls right about here. It does not include that, that would be endpoint, so we draw a little circle on it, and all numbers less than that, which would mean to the left. And so there's the graphical solution of x smaller than 3 tenths. And so that's how you solve inequalities using the same rules to the most extent as we do for equations except for the special rule when we flip the inequality sign, when we multiply or divide by a negative number. And that's how it's done.